What's up guys, Max Goble here at GDC 2014. We are in the play section, which is where they keep the weird games that you can play. Uh, this particular section is altcontrol.gdc, which is a, a selection of games that have alternative control systems, weird input. Uh, everything's incredibly different and very strange, all kind of in the same style as, as Johann Sebastian Joust, getting kind of weird and creative. Uh, generally games you, you can't really just sort of put on an iPad and call it a day. Uh, Bill, what did you play? Uh, I played a game that I think is called MCMC. It's an orbital puzzle game. So it has this weird controller that this guy built where you like grab this handle and you can turn it or slide it and then you shoot hoping that your trajectory takes you around so you can survive for five seconds. It's really, really minimalistic. It's really it's really sleek looking though. It's uh, kind of a small game. It's going to release on Steam soon, I think the guy said. So mouse and keyboard compatible game. Uh, I feel like a lot of the other stuff here definitely would not work with that and definitely had controllers that would be a little bit too difficult to build on your own. Uh, I played one that was also in space and also had you uh, you know controlling a spaceship uh, it was called analog defender and it basically had this big metal briefcase that had tons of controls it had cords you had to plug into different outlets it had uh, you know sliders it had uh, toggle switches buttons basically all the kind of tactile feedback mechanisms you could want and then it's hooked up to a monitor which has like the most complex uh, in-depth version of space invaders I've ever seen uh, that one definitely took a little bit of fiddling to figure out uh, but yeah, I don't think you'd be able to build that briefcase on your own unless you're like an electrical engineer. Uh, what else? What else did you see? Uh, well, we did Raffle Pillar, That's right. which is ridiculous. Uh, so that game, it's competitive head-to-head -head and literally head-to-head -head because you both lie on the floor with like the tops of your heads almost touching. Like I felt Max's hair and it was weird. Um, you look up at the screen that's like a split, uh, just a split screen, and you're in like sleeping bags that go around your waist and they're hooked to like a, a, a hook and a line so that you roll around to move this caterpillar on the screen. Like it's ridiculous. I think I cracked my back a couple times playing it. So did you uh, did you manage to roll the sleeping bag all the way up and actually, were you actually rolling there? Uh, no, I just put it up to my stomach. Okay, yeah, because it's it's basically like this, uh, this hook tied to a wire and then inside you've got a button which activates your special power. So you're pretty much, you know, if you're a normal sized person who does the whole thing entirely, you're pretty much, uh, you know, just just one finger yeah. sticking out. I was just hanging out like this. Um, I think that they could use a, maybe a better system for the, the harness and everything, but it's definitely an awesome idea. Yeah, I like the idea of being a, a caterpillar. I think it's fun. Um, but yeah, that was. Uh, we also played another one that was that was a, a cooperative thing. Uh, it's actually right behind us. It's it's a racket or racket. I'm not sure which, but you uh, you control one of the five thrusters on a rocket ship. Each person has a pedal, like a like a guitar pedal, and uh, you are trying to coordinate it so that the rocket goes up and then lands, but if you do it wrong, you went flying all over the place. You, We did okay on this one, yeah? Yeah, we actually, well, it started out pretty rough, but then we actually managed to coordinate and cooperate. So, I mean, like, the five thrusters are lined up on the bottom, so it's all a matter of balancing out. And with two people and five pedals, that's not easy to do, but we managed. I like that a lot of these games are set in outer space. That's because space is the future, Max. I agree, Bill. Uh, one game I played was Please Don't Space Dog, which... I really like this game a lot. You've got this kind of weird, uh, it's like a mixer. You've got kind of four uh, buttons and then uh, I think eight dials. And you are playing co-pilot to a space dog. It's an Oculus Rift game, so you're sitting there. And the idea is that when you're, you know, you have the Rift on, you can't actually see what your hands are doing. So it's kind of like, uh, kind of like Simon. You're trying to match the patterns and, and push the right buttons or the right cues, except you have to sort of feel around. I mean, you can you can see the buttons virtually. You know, they light up when you when you hit them, but uh, you still have to find them. And so, so it's a bit like making love. It's it's pretty yeah it's there, it's fumbly. There's a dog there. The dog is doing bad things, and the whole thing is in space. That was actually really just a very gorgeous game. I uh, kind of looks like Jazz Punk actually. It's like if Jazz Punk and Space Team had a baby that was an Oculus Rift game and had a dog in it. Uh, what else do we see? I also saw one that's called um, the Chooseatron. It is an analog text adventure, and I know that that could also be describing a book, but this is basically like a receipt printer. And you've got you know four buttons, and you you choose your own adventure by, by pressing the buttons. I played one about uh, going gardening and then finding a slug, and my neighbor was being too loud, so I threw a slug at him, and then he punched me in the arm. I actually have it right here. They give it they give it to you as a as a receipt. Yeah, you grab a hand shovel, small rake, and glass jar and gardening gloves. You pull on a pair of shin high yellow waders, roll up your sleeves, and enter the garden. On a bed of rosemary, you see the flattened remains of a fat garden slug. I see you also played uh, the Mustache Rangers and the Planet of Moods, which sounds erotic. Yeah, that one's also in space. So a lot of weird games about outer space. Um, 
Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a fun time. I know, I like this. I got a cool little souvenir. Oh, no, you didn't do that to him. Yeah, I did. I, I did. I did. Don't do that, Space Dog. Uh, please stop it, Space Dog. All right. But your tongue doesn't go there, Space Dog. Where's the peanut butter, Space Dog? So anyway, that's just a few of the games we got to play. They're very silly and very weird. Um, yeah, what do, you, what do you make of all this? It's like the cutting edge of... Uh, novelty video game dicking around, but it's also a bit like a like a children's museum. Yeah, I, I, I think that's very much hitting the nail on the head. It's it's like one of those, like, science is fun, kids, you can press buttons. But in this case, it's like game design. So, anyway, uh, beats the hell out of a Kinect. Check out the rest of our GDC coverage. It's it's right here, right on this, this YouTube. Just go, go, go to it. And go check out Destructoid.com for written articles. I'm Max Goville. I'm Bill Zoker. See you guys around.